What's going on, a few gifts? We checking y'all's energy. Send you guys love and light. I hope everyone is doing well. Right? Staying high vibrational. Out here in these streets. Yes, people trying to test us and our energy. Right? Enclose yourself in the light. Protection, okay? I see Leo energy. Or is this inner strength? Let's see what's going on. Okay. Moving tactical, moving guarded. What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, y'all. Got to utilize y'all inner strength. Okay. I do feel like it's going to be a king or a queen, a Leo, that may be coming to you later. But before that happens, you got someone that you was in a romantic situation with that's trying to throw spell work on you, okay? And for some time, the spell work actually worked, right? But you guys have elevated and ascended so much that this shit don't touch you no more, right? Right? This shit don't touch you no more, okay? And this person is understanding now that you have must have elevated past where they thought you were, okay? Because this shit is not working. Now, this person, okay, could have had a child, you know, that was born in the summertime or they could have knocked somebody up, okay? They could have walked away from you because this is what they did, right? So now this person is at the crossroads trying to figure out which way to go, which re relationship to go. I see three women here they're dealing with, okay? But they see you guys being blessed, right? They see you focused on your life, your, your energy, your businesses, your abundance, your prosperity, right? And they say, you know what? It's been a while since I came towards a fucus. But they're having nightmares about your ass now because they're getting dealt with in the 5D because your benevolent ancestors and benevolent deities are not trying to hear this motherfucker coming back towards you, messing up what you got going on. True story, okay? This person could come as many times as they want to, okay? They're not going to be able to penetrate that barrier. You guys have already moved on. You're moving defensively. You're moving tactically, right? Somebody could be dealing with someone that was in the military or that uh, uh, works in law enforcement as well, right? This person could be saying, you know what? You know, they moving like I do, or, you know, or they grooving like I do, you know, because of their, their uh, career or their profession, but you're doing that for survival, okay? Because you don't want to be put back into no cycle or no boat with somebody that ain't going no goddamn way. How about that? You don't want to be bothered with someone that is not for your highest good anymore, okay? And that's what it is, you know? And whoever, whoever doesn't understand that, they just don't fucking understand it. And that's okay. You don't got to, boo, Okay? So we got faithless here, right? This person may be a fake ass Christian or something, okay? Right? They like cheating on their fucking wife or their husband, right? That that shit is like a train wreck waiting to happen, okay? You could have been the wife or the husband. I'm gonna keep that. You could have been the wife or the husband too, okay? This shit has not been a good ride for someone here. Someone is embarrassed by how someone treated them, but they but someone is also embarrassed about the karma that they're getting based on how they treated other people. They're feeling real pitiful right now. That's why I said I'm going to take that shit. Right? It's fair to say, look at the bottom of the deck. We got silenced. This person is pissed off that you no longer speak to them. But what they need to do is look at what the hell they did to get you here. Okay? Right? You done dogged me. Halloween, the fall, something around that time could be significant. You know, or they could be dealing with someone that was born around that time. Okay, what is that? Uh, Libra, Scorpio. They can have that energy in their chart, or you can. Okay, right? We got copycat. So whoever the fuck they with, they feel like they're gonna turn this person into you, whether you male or female. Okay, you know you can't recreate a person. Okay, you fuck up with a person, it don't mean you get to go outside and try. You know, a do-over with someone else. You don't get to do that, okay? These people crazy. 
right? We got help. Seeking advice from others. Hard time speaking up about something troubling, some sort of situation that's tra traumatic. Okay, so they're in some shit right now that has nothing to do with you. But they may want to come back to you and tell you about it or they feel like you can help in some way, right? Because people look up to you. People admire you. People like your advice. People feel like you're a blessing, okay? Right? New Year's Eve or could be significant, okay, for some of you. Take it how it resonates, okay? And family gathering, all right? I think I got these cards in another reading. Um... This person may be trying to invite you to something family-oriented because they never have. Yep, they're absolutely a spiritual connection that's watching tarot card readings and getting tarot card readings done on you because they want to stay in tune with your energy. And this could be someone that wasn't even into this life before. Okay, they broke as hell. Oh, yeah, I was getting this energy with the Sagittarius reading. Right? They may have lost their job. If they didn't lose their job, this person um, could have got laid off or surplused or, or could have retired and looking for some type of work now. Psychic. Okay, yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> this person is watching tarot card reading because they said, how the fuck that person know that? You must have told them something that resonated in their life or they saw it play out just exactly how you told them it was going to play out. And they said, oh my God, this person is psychic. This person, how did they know? Right? Right? I know that we're connected. Does that mean I'm psychic? This person doing research, trying to figure out if they're connected to you, trying to figure out if they're your twin flame and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this person is low-key depressed, right? Because of all the karma that they're dealing with right now, right? Yeah, they don't like that you're a single woman either because they know that someone's going to pick you up, whether you be a man. Look, a single woman card came out, could be a single man, what have you. But someone moves in their feminine energy mostly, okay? For so whoever I'm talking to, they don't like that you're single because that means that you fair game, right? You may... Live somewhere where it's cold right now or, oh, shit. Okay, spirit, all right. You live somewhere where it's cold or can get cold, right? You're into spirituality, right? But this person is curious about spirituality because of you, right? They're, they see you meditating or they saw you grounding yourself, doing spiritual uh, practices. Somebody could be a tarot card reader, right? Right? Somebody likes the beach, right? They know that you like to, to vacation there, and they may be trying to take you there, right? They know that you do human, humanitarian work. They know that you give to charity, right? This person, like I said before, could work in law enforcement, okay? Profession, studying law enforcement, arrested, DUI, dispute. Person could be someone that went to jail as well, could have uh, uh, an extensive police report, okay? This person is trying to reach out to people, right? talking about they need a friend right now based on what they've been going through, right? But you cut them out because of the way that they treated you and they don't like it. Mm-hmm. Drugs, suppressing addiction, experimenting with cocaine. This person has been doing drugs or a person around them has. Tattooist, piercing, wanting a tattoo, studying piercings and tattoos. If you have any pictures of you with any type of tattoos on social media. This person is trying to go get a tattoo to mimic you. And they're going to try to come to you with some sort of freaking a proposal. Okay. Now, with this proposal card, it has a ring on it. So it can be a mar marriage proposal. But what I'm feeling intuitively is this person going to be trying to move into your house. They want to make like an offer, like a business arrangement for them to stay with you. Right? This person is having bad dreams right now. So you guys need to pay attention to your dreams because spirit could be giving you some information. Okay? Right? This person may need a car, may be trying to get you to co-sign a car for them. Right? Because some situation fell through with somebody they, they was with or married to will be taking their fucking ride. This person is a weed head, may be selling, may be growing. 
know it's legal in some places. They've been watching you on um, on YouTube and they feel like you, you know, tarot card reader with some success. Whoever it is I'm talking to here, my fellow readers, what's up? Sending y'all love. I love you guys, all right? Glad that we do what we do. This is absolutely someone in the public eye, okay? That's coming up here, right? This person in the gym. Somebody getting themselves together and they see all of this. Whoever this person is. And you're a good counselor too. And this person could need some counseling, all right? Now they coming in with the tornado of emotions, okay? And they're going to try to overwhelm you with that bullshit. But I know that y'all know what's up, okay? So I'm leaving it here. I'm sending y'all love, sending y'all light. Y'all take care.